Plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is a common cause of heel pain in adults. It occurs in about 10% of running athletes. The plantar fascia is long connective tissue that lies directly beneath the skin of the bottom of the foot. The tissue supports the arch of the foot and is inserted from the heel bone, the calcaneus, to the head of the metatarsal bones. The plantar fascia inserts into the medial tuberosity of the calcaneus. The Achilles tendon inserts into the posterior aspect of the calcaneus. The plantar fascia acts as a bowstring. It is a dynamic stabilizer of the longitudinal arch of the foot. The plantar fascia is formed by three bands, a medial band, a central band, and a lateral band, the plantar apineurosis is the central part of the plantar fascia. The plantar fascia is inserted into the medial tuberosity of the calcaneus and extends distally, becoming broader and thinner. Foot pain due to inflammation of the plantar apineurosis is usually caused by repetitive strain. As the person walks, the plantar fascia ligament stretches when the foot hits the ground. If the plantar fascia ligament is forced to stretch excessively or abnormally, damage to the facial tissue will occur. Pain symptoms will intensify with prolonged exercise or standing, especially with the first steps. Stretching exercises or walking will often help in relieving the pain. Ultrasound had the same accuracy as MRI for imaging of the plantar fascia. Ultrasound interpretation of the plantar fascia rupture may be difficult. You may need dynamic maneuvers with dorsal flexion of the forefoot to stretch the plantar fascia. Usually the proximal part of the plantar apineurosis is clearly visualized on ultrasound. As you can see here in this image that shows both the long axis and the short axis of ultrasound images. Treatment of plantar fasciitis, rest, ice, anti-inflammatory medication, shoe inserts, heel cord stretching exercises, rarely injection. Surgery is the last resort after persistence of the symptoms for over six months. Surgery can be open or endoscopic. Let's talk about injection. Don't inject into the fascia itself. It may cause rupture of the plantar fascia. Don't inject into the fat pad. It may cause fat pad atrophy. So you can do the injection by two ways. A blind injection. The site is identified and marked on the medial side of the foot and betadine is used for sterilization. The needle is inserted in a medial to lateral direction, one finger breadth above the sole of the foot, in a line that corresponds to the posterior aspect of the tibia. The solution is injected past the midline of the width of the foot. How about injection using the ultrasound? The ultrasound guided injection can be done through the long axis of the probe, proximal or distal, as you can see here, or it can be done through the short axis, medial approach, deep or superficial to the fascia. Some people may do needling of the fascia, especially with platelet injection. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.